Israel-Hamas struggle losses hit 1,560 as Gaza goes under sealed shut attack The conflict among Israel and Hamas pounded the Gaza Strip and Western Israel Monday, martyring somewhere around 687 Palestinians as the loss of life from Israel rose to 800 with extra existences of far-off nationals. The Israeli armed force said it hit in excess of 500 focuses in the barricaded and ruined Gaza Strip in for the time being conflicts while battling endured in seven to eight areas inside Israel around the territory. It came two days after the Palestinian obstruction bunch sent off a flood of rockets and sent a rush of contenders to Israel taking no less than 100 prisoners. Any focusing of guiltless regular citizens without advance notice will be met remorsefully by executing one of the hostages in our guardianship and we will be compelled to communicate this execution we lament this choice yet we hold the Zionist foe and their administration the obligation regarding this," he said. Sunday the public authority authoritatively pronounced battle on the Palestinian gathering Hamas that controls Gaza and state head Benjamin Netanyahu has cautioned Israel to plan for a long and troublesome struggle. No less than 1,000 Israelis have been killed since Hamas sent off its enormous scope assault, the Israel Protection Powers IDF, said on Monday. Another 1,200 individuals have been injured, some basically. In counter, Israeli airstrikes have pounded the devastated and barricaded Gaza Strip, an area of 2.3 million individuals, with authorities there detailing no less than 413 Palestinian passings. Short-term IDF contender jets, helicopters, airplane and big guns struck north of 500 Hamas and Islamic Jihad fear-monger focuses in the Gaza Strip, the military said in an assertion we're actually battling. There are between seven to eight open spots around Gaza, where, we have still champions battling fear mongers, military representative Richard Hecht told colonists. We thought by yesterday, Sunday, we would have full control. I genuinely want to believe that we will before the day's over, he added. Thick tufts of smoke surged from the Palestinian area as the strikes went on in the early hours of the morning, an AFP journalist detailed. Armed Force Representative Lt. Col. Jonathan Conrick is assessed, around 1,000 Palestinian assailants had partaken in Hamas attack on Saturday, which he called, by a wide margin the most terrible day in Israeli history. Never before have such countless Israelis been killed by something single, not to mention full movement in one day, he said. Conrick has said around 100,000 hold troops were conveyed toward the south as the military fights to oust Hamas contenders from Israeli domain. A very huge sum of Israeli regular people and troopers were being held inside Gaza, he said. Israeli assaults have evened out a few Gaza private pinnacles and obliterated a mosque in Gaza's Khan Yunus, as well as raising a ruckus around Town Bank. In excess of 20,000 individuals in Gaza have been dislodged because of battling, the assembled country's Health and Works Organization for Palestine Outcasts, UNRWA, said. The circumstance is unendurable mentally and financially, said Amal al sarsawi 37, as she took cover in a homeroom with her panicked youngsters. Western capitals have censured the assault by Hamas, which the US and EU consider a psychological militant gathering. Oil costs took off over 4% Monday, starting worries about conceivable inventory shocks from the unrefined rich district. Israel's enemies have commended the attack including Iran whose President Ebrahim Raisi voiced help when he talked with the heads of Hamas and the Islamic Jihad bunch. Supportive of Palestinian exhibitions occurred in the US, Iraq, Pakistan and different nations, while Germany and France were among countries moving forward security around Jewish sanctuaries and schools. In the Egyptian city of Alexandria, a cop started shooting aimlessly on Israeli travelers Sunday, killing two of them and their Egyptian aide before he was captured. EU suspends help for Palestine all because of Hamas' assault on Israel, the EU has suspended its advancement funding for the Palestinian regions, following choices made by Germany and Austria. The size of dread and ruthlessness against Israel and its kin is a defining moment. There can be no the same old thing, Oliver Barheliai, the European chief for the EU said. All installments are promptly suspended. All activities put under audit. All new financial plan proposition, including for 2023, are delayed until additional notification, said Varhelia. Affectation to scorn, savagery and glorification of dread have harmed the personalities of too much, he added. 
We want activity and we really want it now. The EU's choice influences 691 million euros in help and comes after the German government expressed before on Monday that it would stop two-sided help worth 125 million euro due this year, forthcoming a extensive assessment into how such guide was being utilized, Monetary Times revealed. Israel's partners have answered by vowing new help to go up against what US President Joe Biden marked in phenomenal fear-based oppressor attack by Hamas. Washington dispatched the USS Gerald, a portage plane carrying warship and a gathering of warships toward the eastern Mediterranean, and U.S. Guard Secretary Lloyd Austin said Washington said greater gear and assets would be coming. The contention has had a worldwide effect, with a few nations revealing nationals killed, snatched or missing. No less than four U.S. residents were killed in the assault, U.S. Senate Greater Part Pioneer Hurl Schumer said in an explanation, adding that the cost was probably going to rise. Thailand said something like 12 of its nationals were additionally killed while Nepal detailed 10 passings. They were all workers working in Israel. Israel was dazed when Hamas sent off its multi-pronged hostel on Saturday, the Jewish time of rest, with no less than 3,000 rockets pouring down as warriors invaded towns and kibbutz networks and raged an open-air rave where numerous revelers were shot dead. Israel went under assault from the north when Lebanon's Hezbollah sent off directed rockets and gunnery shells Sunday, in fortitude, with Hamas, without bringing on any losses. Israel answered with cannon strikes across the UN-watched line. We prescribe Hezbollah not to come into this, military representative Richard Hecht said. In the event that they come, we are prepared. Hamas predicts the triumph in naming its assault, activity Al-Aqsa flood. Hamas approached obstruction warriors in the West Bank and Bedouin and Islamic countries to join the fight. Its assault comes 50 years after the 1973 attack by Egyptian and Syrian powers, a contention referred to in Israel as the Yom Kippur War, and has started harsh recriminations for what was broadly viewed as a knowledge disappointment. There was an exceptionally terrible disappointment here, said Steret occupant Yaakov Shoshani, 70. The Yom Kippur War was little contrasted with it, and I was an officer in the Yom Kippur War. Hamas boss Ismail Haniyeh has anticipated triumph and promised to press ahead with the fight to free our territory and our detainees mulling in occupation jails. An Israeli overcomer of the assault on Steret, Yitzhak, 67, said he presently anticipated that the military should vanquish Gaza house by house, clean the region there appropriately and not leave Gaza until they get the absolute last rocket out of the ground.